Okay, what's up? Uh, it's almost sunrise, my shift is almost over, uh, but I wanted to give you a brief tour of our control room, and so that's where we're walking to right now. Uh, I'm gonna show you, there's a, in this, this is where most of the activity happens for uh, this observatory, and so we have a lot of computers in here, we have a lot of uh, uh, TV monitors on the wall, the, uh, all, all the TV monitors on the wall have displays of, you know, various graphs, various video uh, shots as well, uh, and they're just giving us information about what's going on with the machine. And so this is one of the important ones that almost everybody looks at first. And so this is looking at the sensitivity for both interferometers. The green trace is Louisiana, the red one is um, uh, here, and then we're looking at here, this is time now, this is zero, and then we're looking back over the last 12 hours, this is 12 hours. So I was doing okay. I mean, we were up here at about 80 megaparsecs. That's what we're at here. And then right here, I took a nosedive. And uh, that's basically just the machine. It's, uh, it's kind of a, a living thing. It, it had an issue with uh, one of its mirrors. And uh, the sensitivity is, is kind of bad right now. But it'll get fixed. We'll fix that later. Uh, but it'll take a while to do it, a few hours. Uh, here are some video shots here. Those are uh, some video cameras looking uh, at the mirrors in the arms. And so what we're seeing there uh, is the light resonating um, in those four kilometer long arms. So you wanna have light there. If there's no light there, we're not running, we're not collecting data. Uh, we have this web browser here that looks at earthquakes. Um, so whenever there's an earthquake on the planet, uh, it, it calculates how long it takes to get here, how big it is. If we get red blocks here, that means we have uh, a big earthquake on the way and it'll uh, usually sometimes affect us and take us down. Uh, this is another plot here. This is the plot that's actually looking at the light coming out of the machine. And so, the red trace is what the light is. And so we're looking at uh, a big band here. So here over on this side is about 10 hertz and then over here is 7,000 hertz. And so we just want this thing to be as low as possible. There's gonna be other lines in here. That's just the, the that's just traits of our machine. But we wanna be able to detect signals in, in this guy. And so some of these signals might pop up here at any time when there's a vent in, in space and so that we just want to be ready for those and we want this thing to be as low or quiet as possible and then right here we have seismometer traits what are seismometer traces so these guys are looking at the last 24 hours so way over here is zero that's now and then you're going all the way over here uh 24 hours ago so this is uh the last 24 hours of uh, uh seismic uh, activity and you basically just want that to be flat and low. And for the most part, it has been. There's been no earthquakes, no big earthquakes on the planet over the last day. Uh, so that's, that's about it. I just wanted to give you guys a very quick tour of where I work. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so this is Corey signing off, and I'm going to hand it over to Corey. Bye.